Hi gang, Scott here. Quick video about exporting your photos for the web. You know, what settings am I using? Why am I choosing them? I thought I'd give you the rundown here because uh, it's all about trying to strike a balance between a good looking photo, something that's got good quality, has a good size, you know, so it's uh, got some presence when you're looking at it online but also the file size stays pretty small so that your website or your social feed will load faster. So uh, let me run down what I'm using. Uh, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of it is about 1500 pixels on the long side and a JPEG quality of 90 color space sRGB. Let me show you a Lightroom on one Luminar. These are the packages I use that I'd be exporting from. So let's, let's walk through each one. All right, let's start here in Lightroom. Let me get the export dialog up here. I've got a bunch of presets that I use, but let me bring up the full dialog and I'll highlight the one I use most often. 1500 pixels. I'll talk about JPEG Mini in a moment here. But here's the key things. File settings, I'm doing a JPEG, sRGB, a quality of 90, and the long edge is being resized to 1500 pixels. Uh, I do a bit of sharpening for the screen since when I'm exporting, most of the time I'm doing an export for use on screen, you know, absorbing it and consuming this work through a screen. Uh, also make sure not to enlarge. If something, any reason I had a photo that was smaller than uh, 1500 pixels, I don't want to enlarge it. Uh, question I get asked often is why aren't you using limit file size? How about you just check that box and say, make sure your photos are this small. And uh, it's because then quality becomes variable. And so I'm choosing to bias my settings toward the quality of the image as opposed to the file size. But with these settings, especially the 1500 pixels or so, on average, the photos end up being about 500 kilobytes, sometimes 400, and they get even a little smaller, and that's where JPEG Mini comes into the play. So I am using a package called JPEG Mini, so after all of this stuff happens, it gets pushed through this uh, other utility. They have a plug-in version for Lightroom, and it compresses the file down a little bit more without sacrificing the quality. You know, if you don't have JPEG Mini, uh, you can always just lower quality, say 85 or 80 or something like that. You know, your your uh, taste can vary, but uh, these are the fundamental settings, and uh, I do like JPEG Mini. It's really you know helping me out, keeping the file sizes small so that when you have a website where you've got you know 12, 15, 18 images that are showing up in a blog feed or a gallery, you know that ends up being several megabytes worth of data. And so these these uh, every every kilobyte seems to matter. Uh, let's look at a couple of the other uh, packages here as well. Let's take a look at on one. I'll bring up the export dialog. And there are two panels that are most important. Photo size. I'm resizing to the long edge. 1500 pixels. Uh, resolution, it really doesn't matter. Uh, PPI, pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter, that's a physical dimension unless you're preparing for print, in which case you probably wouldn't be resizing to 1500 pixels. You, the dimensions don't matter for an online con consumption. It just, it, it, it's immaterial. It just doesn't matter at all. Image type, General resize works great for my work. You know, there are other options, but really the general resize is the one I choose, even more so than landscape. And I'm a, I'm a landscape guy, but I like general. File type, we have our JPEG, the quality of 90, and the color space set to sRGB. You know, why that color space? Well, the web runs on sRGB, and with that export, it's most likely that the image will look good on other people's screens because you know, I have a color calibrated system, but my phone isn't color calibrated. Uh, when someone looks at my photo, they'll be in different lighting conditions than I'm right now. It just The sRGB is your lowest common denominator. That's the color space that I use for web shares. And that's how you do it in on one. And for Luminar AI, the export button, choose save to disk. And we have our settings. Sharpening is low, so a little bit of extra sharpening for the screen. Long edge set to 1500 pixels. Color space sRGB. The format's a JPEG with a quality of 90. Hit save, and the export is on its way. So there you go. Those are the settings that I'm using to export to the web now. Recapping that, 1500 pixels on the long edge. JPEG with quality of 90, color space sRGB, and I really like the results. It's a good mix. It's a right balance between a reasonably small file size and a good quality looking image on your screen.
Hope you found it useful. You have other suggestions or tips about exporting things you've discovered and found, drop them in the comments. Let us all learn from you as well. And I'll share some information here. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.